the president of the United States regularly campaigns on and frankly luxuriates in xenophobic division. But last night he took his white nationalist rhetoric to an entirely new level, attacking the Oscars for picking the Korean film Parasite as best picture while pining for a movie that in the modern era has been best known for its grossly romanticized vision of slavery. And the winner is a movie from South Korea. What the hell was that all about? <laughs> we got enough problems with South Korea with trade. On top of it, they give him the best movie of the year. Was it good? I don't know. You know, I'm looking for like, where, where, let's get Gone with the Wind. Can we get like Gone with the Wind back, please? <laughs> Ah, yes, more Gone with the Wind. Slaves and antebellum romance. That's what Hollywood needs. Donald Trump does not seem to be big fans of anything or anyone that comes from outside our borders. He and his right-wing advisor, Stephen Miller, have pursued cruel xenophobic policies meant to both reduce illegal immigration and, crucially, legal immigration. And it has worked. The number of people obtaining lawful permanent resident status, those would-be legal immigrants, has declined steadily while Trump has been in office. But as most of us know, the United States actually really needs immigrants, lots of them. And you know who understands that? None other than acting White House Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney, who was secretly recorded Wednesday night stating that the Trump administration needs more immigrants for the U.S. economy to continue growing. Quote, we are desperate, desperate for more people. We are running out of people to fuel the economic growth that we have had in our nation over the last four years. We need more immigrants. The demonization of immigrants is central to the pitch Trump is making to his almost entirely white base. But as his chief of staff understands, there are realities of our demographic, demographic and economic needs that transcend politics. And anyone who has any grounding in reality realizes that even if they only say it in private. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.